Welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to the top 10 turn based tactics games. We start off with Gears Tactics. Set 12 years before the Gears of War games, you play as Gabe Diaz. Develop, recruit, and command your squads as you hunt down the leader of the Locust Army, Ukon. Game is available on the Xbox Game Pass and on Steam. You will be required to create an Xbox profile. Game has 76% positive reviews on Steam. Base price is $40 and 900 rupees with the lowest price being 75% off at $10 and 224 rupees respectively. According to how long to beat, the main campaign takes around 24 hours with completionists taking around 40. Into the Breach is a procedurally generated turn-based tactics game from the creators of FTL. The remnants of humanity are threatened by powerful gigantic creatures breeding under the earth. You have to control powerful mechs from the future to hold off this alien threat. Game has overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam at 94%, base price is only 15 and the lowest price so far has been at 75% off which is $374. Game was also given away by Epic and is also available on mobile although you need a Netflix subscription to access it. Playtime for the main campaign is 5.5 hours while completionists can spend up to 45 hours. The Banner Saga is an epic role-playing Viking saga where your choices directly affect your journey. This is the first part of a trilogy. This game has beautiful 2D art and a rich story and music. Game has 88% positive reviews on Steam, base price is $25, but goes on a heavy sale and has been as low as 85% off at $374 and rupees only. All three games are available on Steam during sales at around 80-85% off. Average playtime to complete the story for each of the three games is around 10 hours. Darkest Dungeon is a difficult roguelike turn based game about the psychological stresses of dungeoneering. You have to recruit, train and lead a team of heroes into deep dark dungeons filled with disturbing creatures and unimaginable horrors. Game is in 2D with a gothic art style and one of the best narrations in any game. It has won a lot of awards and spawned a whole genre of similar games. Base price is $25 but goes as low as $374 which is 85% off. In India that is only 92 rupees. Was also given away by the Epic Game Store. Average play time to complete the main game is an incredible 55 hours. I have been playing this game quite a lot. I have more than 100 hours and I still haven't finished it. Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus you play as the Adeptus Mechanicus, who are the most technologically advanced army in the whole Imperium. I'm a new Warhammer 40k fan, so don't know too much lore, but these people pray to something called the Omnesia, a machine spirit. They also consider flesh to be weak and replace parts of their bodies with mechanical augments. The game has over 50 missions. 92% positive reviews on Steam, base price is $30 and has gone as low as $6 during the sales 140 rupees in india playtime for the main story is 18 hours and completionist will be about 40. mutant year zero road to eden this game combines the turn-based combat style of xcom with stealth and exploration set in a post-apocalyptic world you take control of a team of mutants deformed humanoids and animals on their search for the eden of legends 90% positive reviews on Steam, base price is $35, sales haven't been as deep, lowest so far, 60% uh, off, which is $14 and rupees. Game has also been given away by Epic, so some of you may already have it. Playtime is a more reasonable 13 hours for the main story and completionist will be about 23-24 hours. Phantom Doctrine is a Cold War turn-based spy thriller. Set in the year 1983, you are a leader of a secret organization known only as the Cabal. You are charged with preventing a global conspiracy that seeks to pit leader against leader, nation against nation. Carry out secret missions, interrogate enemy agents, investigate classified files to uncover the plot. This is the lowest rated game on this list at only 75% positive reviews, which is not bad all things considered. Full price on Steam is $40, but don't buy it at that price as the sales are very generous on this one. It has been as low as 90% off, which is rupees only. Main campaign will take you 30 hours and Completionist is a staggering 130 hours. Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. 
probably the newest game on this list. Released in May of this year, you play as humanity's greatest weapon, the Grey Knights, who are a very secretive legion of space marines. Manage and command your squad of Grey Knights as they fight against the corrupting forces of chaos. I have played this and it is very good. Music and story is well done with good voice acting as well. The story is written by acclaimed Black Library author Aaron Dembski Bowden. Reviews are around 78% positive overall and 86% for recent ones. Since the game is fairly new, the base price is $45 and the sales have only been 15% off so far. So I would recommend waiting a bit for the next big Steam sales to pick this one up. Main story will take you a respectable 23 hours to finish while a completionist run will take you almost 150 hours. Songs of Conquest is a turn-based strategy game inspired by the classic games of the 90s. This is a mixture of kingdom management, RPG, turn-based combat. The game is also fairly new from earlier this year and is still in early access. Reviews are 87% positive and is priced more reasonably at $30 and 700 rupees. Best sale so far has been 25% off which is $524 in India and $2250. Main story will take you 30 hours to finish. The game is in early access, but I believe the story is complete. King Arthur Knight's Tale is a unique hybrid between turn-based tactical games and traditional character-centric RPGs. Here is the story of the game. You are Sir Mordred, the nemesis of King Arthur, the former Black Knight of the Grim Tales. You killed King Arthur, but with his dying breath, he stuck you down. You both died, and yet you both live. The Lady of the Lake, the ruler of the mystical island of Avalon, brought you back to end a true nightmare. She wants you to go on a nightly quest. She wants you to finish what you have begun, kill King Arthur or whatever he has become after she took his dying vessel to Avalon. So a pretty fascinating description and the opening cinematic is cool too. 82% positive reviews on Steam. Game is also from earlier this year so sales have only been as low as 35% off. Playtime for this one is around 30 hours, although there isn't enough data here to make this very accurate. Also before going, I know some of you will have questions about where I get all the information and people have asked me about this in the past. I use a plugin called Augmented Steam and I also use SteamDB plugin on Chrome. This gives me a lot more information on the Steam store page. So for example, you get uh, the reviews and stuff. This is probably already there. You get the lowest recorded price. This will be in your region, your currency. You can select different regions if you want to compare prices in different regions. This won't be useful for many people, but for someone like me who does these videos, it's more useful. You also get information like how many people are, are playing right now, the peak, all-time peak, things like that. Uh, there's also things like how long to beat. So you'll get information about this stuff here. And you can basically add more features if you go and customize this augmented steam plugin if you go in the options there's quite a lot of things you can customize you can log in and it'll show you even more data based on your libraries etc so anyway thought i'll mention this because i know people will be asking about this